success shopping. And you know why it was such a big success? <laughs> because she got a zero items. First workout since the show. So me and Ali go to another gym. They don't accept day passes and we're like lost. So we spent an hour finding this gym. This gym is sick. There's a DJ. It's packed. It's amazing. Look at the cardio I'm doing. I can literally watch my own YouTube on the screen. It goes to 18%. It's freaking awesome. Now, I'm half dead. I literally get this. This is how brain dead I am. So I go to take a pre-workout pill and by accident I take a sleeping pill. So I'm like, oh my God. And so I end up having to freaking vomit in the toilet, this sleeping pill, which was next to impossible to do. But I finally got that shit out. Cause like, I would have been asleep. Like, it wouldn't have been good. I was like panicking. I've eaten two salads today and two bananas and one apple and I've eaten protein powder out of a jug. That's it. That's what it's like. You can't find the food you want. You're out in another country. It's hard to speak to anybody. So that's, that's what's up. And I'm here and I gotta train quads. I don't have to train hamstrings. What's the point? It's not gonna matter. So I'm gonna get mostly quads in and whatever I can kind of fit in the between. Probably some arms. I already, you know, I did about a bazillion push-ups and stuff on the show day, so I don't have to bother with that. So just gonna warm up, do some cardio, and then eat some more chicken and vegetables after. But man, am I brain dead? Think about it. Accidentally swallowing a sleeping pill before going to the gym. That's, I'm not making this shit up. Anyway, then I get this workout done. Yeah, this is like a ridiculously big gym. The lighting is awesome. It's huge. This is like what I'm showing you here. Literally was a quarter of it. It's awesome. Anyway, just finished. I finished up with some posing and just did like kind of a total body pump. We'll do it again tomorrow. Post workout meal number three. Salad and Diet Coke. Here it is. Chicken, avocado, lettuce, Diet Coke. This is my third meal of salad today. And I also had a couple bananas and an apple. It is what it is. The gym workout was awesome. I can't wait to go tomorrow. It was good. It's awesome. They had a DJ. It was fun. And... Burger and... Oh, fun times are ahead and I spent I don't know how many hours doing diet plans today I'm gonna have to work half the night on diet plans tonight clients are checking in and so on so although it's fun on vacation here it's still work 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 I've slept seven hours in the last two days so and I have a long night of work ahead of me see you next time so you want to know what it's like to be a bodybuilder on the road it's about one in the morning. I've had three salads today and a couple bananas. I'm trained, my girlfriend's asleep. I'm in the bathroom. It's my pre-bed meal. I got spinach. 
I got a, a turkey, which I'm washing because there's way too much fat on this stuff. So I'm literally washing it in the sink, okay? And I have to take all the skin off and all the delicious juices out. And I'm only gonna eat the breast because I'm trying to get less calories. I have mushrooms and I'm drinking water. And for my salad dressing, I'm gonna use mustard. And I'm eating it out of this crappy little bowl with a plastic fork, okay? So that's what it's like on the road. You can't always do what you want. You can't just meal prep the way you would like at home. I don't like prepping on the road. It's much, much harder. I'm also doing diet plans for clients at one in the morning and I've slept seven hours in two days. And I can't screw up these diet plans because they're important. Some people are training for important shows, they want pro cards and so on. So, just because I have my own show to do, doesn't mean my clients aren't as important as I am. They are just as important as I am. So I'm doing client phone calls, answering all their questions, making peak week plans, and making sure that they're taken care of. Because I care. I care about you the way I care about me. I want you to be your best the way I want to be my best. And I'm also videotaping this in the bathroom because I don't want my girlfriend to wake up. She does wear Boast sleep earbuds, which have been discontinued. Apparently they don't work that well. They're working for her. They haven't busted yet, but that's happening, okay? So I'm gonna take the skin off of this. I'm gonna put some chicken on that spinach salad with mustard. And then I am going to continue to work on diet plans for half the night and then sleep a few hours, and tomorrow we are going shopping for Louis Vuitton stuff. She only has like 10 purses, which like, uh, I got her one for her birthday because like that's what she wants, and I got myself one to match. And so we're going Louis Vuitton shopping tomorrow, but she is going to come with me to the gym. She said she doesn't want to be there for two hours, so she might just go and do a bit of cardio and leave, but um, yeah. And we go to eat, and I watch her eat burgers and fries, and I eat avocado salad with chicken on it and stuff like that. So that's like what it's like to be a bodybuilder on the road, okay? You have to have passion. You have to care. You have to want it. So stop being pussies and complaining about, I'm craving a burger. A burger? Are you serious? Try eating spinach out of a plastic bowl with mustard. Do you know how hungry I am right now? Do you think I have a bunch of magic supplement pills or some kind of PEDs that I just carry around and I'm just never hungry and my genetics are just to be shredded? No, it's dedication, it's hard work, and it's passion. And if you don't have it, you're not cut out to be a bodybuilder. And if you do have it and you've competed, then you get me and you understand what I'm doing and you understand why I'm doing it because I like it and love it and I choose to do this. The suffering is suffering, but the reward at the end is something else. It's the same thing like when you study for seven days straight for an exam and you get 100 on your math test because you studied so hard and you outstudied everyone and you got the highest mark on that exam. It's the same thing. You suffered so much studying and you won. It's the same thing if you're a Tour de France rider and you rode seven hours a day on a bicycle and then you win the race. It's torture all the time, but then you finish the race. And do you think everyone in the Tour de France wins? There's one winner, one. There's 200 in it. There's a guy that knows he's not gonna fi finish in the top 150. Not even a chance, no chance. He's just there because he can do it and say he finished it. Just getting on stage and competing in your best shape is an amazing achievement. So don't forget that and stop listening to all the haters who are telling you not to do what you're passionate about and don't care about you, okay? Do what you wanna do and do what makes you happy.
And if your partner doesn't support you, get another partner. You don't need them. If they love you, they should be there for you and support you. Okay? So I'm going to end this message here because I am so hungry I could probably eat this shirt. I'm not a doctor. That's the shirt. I weigh 191 pounds. Does that sound like I rebounded? No. Do you need to rebound? No. If you rebound, it's your own fault. Why? You drank too much water, you ate too many carbs, you kept eating salt, you just didn't stop. You can't gain weight by absorbing it through the air. I've coached people in the past are, you had to gain 20 pounds in two days. I just followed exactly what you said. I'm like, if you gain 20 pounds, 20 pounds of substance entered into your mouth and was consumed. You can't sit in a tub and absorb 20 pounds. Did I tell you to have 20 pounds of anything? No. So shut up. Anyway, I'm out. All right, I slept five hours last night, so that's 12 hours and three days now. And it's breakfast time, and I have, I have four, four little coffees. I have six eggs, of which I'm not gonna eat the yellow. I have some of this quartz yogurt stuff, some tomatoes, and that's it. So I had that pre-bed salad, which was actually quite delicious. Oh, and I have three kiwis, see? So it's fruit, vegetables, and meat. That's what I mean, that's it. Then we are going off shopping for Louis Vuitton designer. De Vuitton designer. There's a million stores. There's a million stores. So and how long will we be down there for several hours? Until I spend all my money. We're gonna be down there until we have no more money left. It's not maxed. I put three thousand on it last night. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wish me luck. Louis Vuitton dumbbells. Eighteen hundred euros, which is almost three thousand dollars. Well, it's over three thousand with tax, Canadian. They're three kilograms each. That's a thousand dollars per kilo. Well, no, I guess it's for a set of two. Five hundred dollars a kilogram. <laughs> Imagine getting a Louis Vuitton set of weights and spending like five hundred thousand dollars on the weights itself. Anyway, so we've been to I don't know, like six stores, like Louis Vuitton, Prada, men's Prada, women's Prada. I don't know all these labels that I don't recognize. Prices are all insane. We have. Uh, we looked at the Louis Vuitton bags that me and my girlfriend have, and they're 1,600 euros each. I was like, it's a good thing we bought them online. <laughs> so stuff's expensive, but I'm gonna end up getting the, the, the Prada boots. That's it. So everything else, just buying online, too much money. I am fading fast. I actually literally just added up my calories today, and we're at about 1.30 in the afternoon. I'm at 4.50. I'm not competing in women's bikini. I'm at 450 calories, my stomach's eating itself. So I've been eating like just salads and stuff all week since the show, so I'm depleted as depleted, dying now. So like when we go in these stores, I can barely make it up the flight of stairs and I still have to train today. So it's gonna be tough. So we'll see how much longer she drags me out here shopping. Hopefully not much longer, I need to eat. Now. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. We're taking a break from shopping. I'm on meal two. It is plain water and it is about two ounces of chicken, avocado, about one ounce of mango, and about six ounces of lettuce. There it is. Not exciting, but I'm just starved. I had to eat something. Last me till I get back. So that's it. It's plus six outside. Freezing. Didn't dress appropriately. Wearing my girlfriend's sweater underneath this. Two t-shirts. It is what it is. All right, we are back at the hotel. Success shopping. And you know why it was such a big success? <laughs> because 
she got a zero items. Even though we looked at some stuff that was like 1,500 euros, 2,000 euros. She almost got one thing, but we thought it was 550 euros, but it ended up being 950 euros, euros for shoes. Sad days. And guess how we even wanted to be even more? I got one thing. So we went mainly for her and we came back for me. So this is what I got. New Prada boots. So some Prada boots. So I don't have nice stuff, really. I have like one suit in my life. I have like one pair of shoes. I have nothing. And only since I met him six years ago did he, I make him buy nice stuff. Yeah, make I maybe make a him little spend bit. spend his money. I do, babe. You're like a non-spender of money. No, I, I just save money. money. We're buying a house. And it's our six-year anniversary. Woohoo! Woo it's on Facebook, so it counts officially. Yeah, we don't actually have an anniversary. No. And apparently this is our Facebook anniversary. It's our Facebook something anniversary. Yeah, so we we'll just count it. Mm -hmm. So I'm on meal three now. I had a banana though, so that's giving me some energy. And uh, our fridge isn't working, but uh. that's some more. This is this is what I'm eating, right? So, those of you who think it's it's not all French toast and popcorn. It, it it can be at some points, but there's suffering time. And we oh, discovered this. This is the best pop ever. <coughs> Like, I mean, we always drink Diet Pop, and we love mango. This is Diet Coca-Cola Mango. Coca-Cola Coca Light Mango. They don't say diet here. It's light. Coca-Cola oh, Light. Oh, man. I want it all the time. That's what I want. What else? Oh! We're going to... I eat <laughs> salad and then go to the gym. She's coming with me. We've probably walked for two hours today. That counts as cardio, but it counts as pussy cardio because obviously it wasn't done at a fast pace. I can barely walk up a flight of stairs at a steady state speed right now. Like my energy is nothing. Like I'm back carb depleted in a mess. So mentally, I'm not really functioning that well and stuff like that. And so it's kind of like it's peak week again. I'm doing it all over again next weekend. We leave tomorrow morning. We have to leave here at like 8 yeah, our flight's at 10.50, so... Yeah, so like 8 in the morning, we're going to shuttle down, get to the airport and stuff. So we're going to be up early. Um, you know, so that's going to be fun. Another half of a day on a flight. And, well, with the time zone change, it's not too bad. We get there early. So anyway, that's what's going to happen. Anything to add, babe? Uh, I don't think so. I wish we had more time to explore, but he's got another show, so unfortunately we, we don't. We explored enough. Well, no, I want to do other places in Europe. We're so close to oh, everything. Oh, yeah. That'd be all right. Yeah. But no, that's it. Good trip. I love it here. So, oh. So, you see these bags? So, we each got each other one for our birthdays. And we went to the store, and they're 2,000 euros. We got a guy. <laughs> guy. <laughs> we got a guy. We got a guy. It was not <laughs> 2,000 euros. It wasn't 2,000 Canadian. It wasn't 1,000 Canadian. So we're going to stick with this guy and get a bunch of stuff. But uh, yeah, so once you got your guy, keep your guy. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's a third of the price. I'm like, are you kidding me? So I was like, I kind of wanted to get a wallet. And I was looking, I was like, but she's got a guy. So we're going to use her guy. Yeah. So I'm not so guy. upset about all the money she spent. I thought it was expensive. till I found out what it really costs. And I was like, are you kidding me? So anyway, so it's not that bad after all. All right. So I got to, I don't know, take a pre-workout, go to the gym get all that thing done. Not going to do a lot of cardio because I'm cardioed out, but I'm going to do like a, it's basically like a full body workout, except for I'm not going to train my hamstrings because like that's just too much, but I'm going to do like quads and get my back pumped and just get a whole body pump and then pose. And basically the same thing tomorrow, 
And then I won't do quads and just do upper body as the show gets closer because, like, I won't have any energy to do it. So that's the plan. Just keep getting some pumps. And trust me, when you're depleted and flat, you second guess how you look. So I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, my God, am, am I losing all my muscle? Am I, what's happening? Then I go to the gym and in, like, five minutes, everything comes to life and it's like, yes. I'm not a piece of poop anymore. I look actually decent. So the mind games that play with you during peak week are enormous. So like anyone that's done a show, trust me, I know what you're feeling and I know what you're going through because it even plays into me and this is my 57th show. And you're like, what happened? But then you get a pump and you do a few poses and you're like, okay, there, there it is, there it is. So I'm gonna end this here and get some food into me and then head to the gym.